on the little Miata there. So let's go check it out and see how it turned out. I think it's still wet, but we'll go look. washed it and then I washed it um, by hand a couple of times 
Then I got under the engine bay, I sprayed some some of the degreaser I use. I use always pretty much the same products for the most part. There's a few things I'm still searching for as far as you know, maybe cleaning products or that type of stuff, but well we'll get there from here at some point, but cleaned up pretty good. Um that fender and that bumper, it's the worst of the the body stuff. It's still I don't know if it translates on the camera, but it's still got a few spots that didn't just wash off. Maybe a few washings that'll eventually come off. Probably really needs to be maybe paint corrected or wet sanded and something. It needs something clay. Clay bar might do it. Um, but overall, for what I'm going to use it for, or who knows, I may trade it, sell it before we get to the drift track. I don't know. Things change. But it turned out pretty good. Um, there's some places behind the engine that it didn't clean as good as I want, but it needs to be actually probably scrubbed. Um, it, it looks okay, but as compared to the rest of the engine bay, that you know what I can see back there, it, it needs to be like hand washed, is probably what it needs. So that adds a little extra to it that the, a lot of the degreasers won't take off, or if you get something that strong it'll tend to want to take more than what you want off. I ordered a piece off eBay. I thought I was ordering a dipstick for the Miata. And that wasn't the case. At least I thought. So, I ordered this, what I thought was a dipstick. And there's no way a dipstick in this pack. Let's see what we got. All right, so here's my dipstick. Typical broken on the end like they do. My Subaru did the same thing. All right, so see a picture of a dipstick. Subaru bought it. A dipstick came. Seen a picture of dipstick on the Miata. Bought it. This came. Okay, there's no way there's a whole dipstick in there. So let's see how this system works here so evidently they send you this I mean are you supposed to just glue it on no instructions no nothing provided yeah so in the photo it showed a, a whole dipstick that's not a whole dipstick so I don't there's nothing else in the pack nothing uh, it doesn't hold it just falls off so really come on now That's just going to be stupid. So I thought maybe it might come up this way and because there's some billet ones that I saw that do that. And so ultimately this is what we got. <laughs> I just, you know. Yeah, so I don't, I guess I got to glue it. I don't know what I got to do. I don't have to do anything. I guess I could probably just order another one. The actual right piece. But yeah, that's what you get when you order the eBay. So make sure you read the fine print that they don't just give you a handle. It looks like a dipstick handle and you got to like hot glue it or tape it or JB weld, plastic JB weld, epoxy it on there or something. But it did show a picture of the actual whole dipstick. So, all right, let's see if we can't figure this out and make it work. Okay, so I just happen to have in my possession, I don't even know where it came from, some industrial strength Loctite super glue. There's no lid on it. I don't know where it 
come from. Whether it's open, it's not even open. I don't even know where it came from. Um, I don't see a lid or anything. I'm gonna take my pocket. I'll get a lot or a lighter. Um, I was looking for a knife and I pulled a lighter out, but I'll try to pull the knife out this time. All right, so we'll take our handy dandy pocket knife. We'll just cut us a little piece off there. of a hole. So I'm gonna leave myself some room that way I guess I gotta cut more. There it goes. So I'll just fill that dude up. Let's cram that down in there and I really need to tape it with something. I need more glue. But all right, I'm gonna maybe find a piece of tape and try to get this thing taped together until this glue sets up. But we'll fill that up with glue. It's running out. I'll just hold it for a second. Maybe it'll. So we're gonna let that sit and do its thing for a while. It's at least holding it all the way on there. Yeah, so it's not letting it back off. If I let off, it, it stays. Uh, so we'll let that set up. I really don't wanna lay it on anything. There we go. Okay. But while that's doing that, we'll go ahead and start changing the spark plugs. But yeah, so if you order one of those, make sure you got some glue or something. And that may not even hold. I, I would imagine it would. It being locked tight, super glue. Um, let's hope so. All right, here we go. All right, just in case this works, and you want to know what I used, I used this. I don't even know where it come from. I don't have a clue. It just happened to be here. I don't have a lid for it. Um, I don't know. But I gotta go put it somewhere where it don't spill. But that's if it works. That's what I used. All right, here we go. I'm feeling high